Living with anxiety is never easy. Many, many people struggle with anxiety daily. Uh, learning to control anxiety is a long-term process, not something that can be completed overnight. But there are also ways to fight anxiety that can be integrated into your daily life. Now, it is important when you are anxious or angry, you need to admit it. Look into yourself. When you label how you are feeling and allow yourself to express it, then you realize that the anxiety and the anger you are experiencing may actually decrease and decrease. But what you can also do is write it down. If you're not too angry or anxious to talk about it, grab a journal, grab a book, grab some papers and write down your thoughts. Don't worry about completing the sentences or punctuation of good English. Just write. Writing helps you to get negative thoughts out of your mind. Now, if you listen to what your anxiety is telling you to do, you usually feel better because you're being honest with yourself. Sometimes you may be anxious about going to a party where you don't even know anyone. Anxious mind tells you to stay at home instead. And you do. And your anxiety goes down, goes away. Right? This is one example. And sometimes practice meditation. To some people, it seems to help meditation or mindfulness. Uh, learning to slow down your mind and breathe deeply can also help guide you through anxious moments. The physical symptoms of panic and anxiety, such as trembling, chest pains, rapid heart. However, in order to get to the root of your anxiety, you need to figure out what is actually bothering you. That's really important. Now, it is time that we encourage everyone to be more open about mental health and help to put an end to the stigma and the discrimination that can prevent people from having life-changing conversations. The importance of talking about mental health cannot be overstressed. Stigma and discrimination are the two biggest obstacles that stop people from seeking help.